Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslix, and today we are doing a Lance Guide. So if you don't know who I am, I am, I'm just the best Lance player of all time. I've been playing this weapon for years and years. I don't know exactly how long, but I've been playing Brahalla for almost six years now. So, and I'm also like, I, I was ranked two in 2020 throughout most of the year. I'm currently like top 20 in the world, something like that. But Trust me when I say this, I know how to play Lance, and if you are trying to learn how to play Lance, and stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you guys all the basics on how to play Lance, how to get good with Lance, how to even go pro with Lance, okay? So, if that's what you're looking for, stay tuned for that. Hit that like, subscribe for more stuff like this, and let me know down below in the comments what guides or tutorials do you want me to make. Uh, what would help your gameplay the most? Whatever's the most like comment, I'll I'll do that idea. I promise. Okay, so go check out the comments. Like your ideas that you think would be helpful to your gameplay, and I'll make them. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Check out Cosmics.com and let's start. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in this Lance guide is character selection. So as you know, there's a lot of Lance characters but i'm gonna be honest some legends are better than others some have different purposes uh it just depends what's best for your gameplay so personally i am only good with lance i can play a secondary but i only care for what's the best lance right so what i look for in a legend might be different than what other people look for a legend so if you want the most well-rounded lance legend someone that has good sigs overall both kits everything like that i would say i would look towards orion i would also look towards scarlet i think both those characters have very good kits so they're very well rounded decent stats they're some of the best lance legends in the game um it also depends on the meta so if you happen to really like axe i would definitely recommend ogrim slash macho man uh there are other lance legends i wouldn't recommend the other legends as much it just depends on what you like like if you like sight then sure you can play artemis the reason why i wouldn't recommend artemis too much is Speed is important for Lance, but I think having only 4 defense and 5 attack isn't great, it's a little risky. Also, Artemis' Lance Sigs are very weird. The side Sig is phenomenal, but the other two are not as good as some other signatures. So if you want like a good anti-air on Lance, which is very important, I don't think Artemis is a good anti-air with Lance. So you have to end Sig, it's not great. So. I wouldn't say Artemis is a good Lance Legend if you're trying to pick the best Lance. Uh, also, Vrax, the reason why is Vrax's stats are really, uh, they're not well-rounded. You got 8 Dexterity, which is important, but you don't need 8 Dexterity for Lance, unless it enables some crazy combos in the future. But as of right now, I, I think Vrax is the best Lance Sig kit, but I just don't like his stats. I think it's not well-rounded. So, if you're going to be playing Lance, I would recommend, if like, the best characters, in my opinion, with Lance are Ulgrim, Orion, and Scarlet. I think Orion and Scarlet are the two best. The only reason I'm playing Ulgrim is because Axe is a very easy weapon to play. So if you're looking for a Lance character that's the easiest to pick up in the long run, I think Ulgrim is very, very easy. Um, if your gameplay is pretty sig heavy, I would stay closer towards Orion and Scarlet. If you like Sword, you can go Roland. Only downside with Roland is the sigs are not great. Like some of them are really good, some of them are really bad in my opinion. The Sword sigs are better than the Lance sigs. And also, there's Vector, but if you're playing Lance, Vector's got some of the worst Lance sigs in the game, if not the worst. So, if you like Bow, go for Vector. I wouldn't recommend Vector if you want to learn how to play Lance. Um, if you're want, if you're a Bow main and you're just watching this video to learn Lance, then go go right ahead, go play Vector. Anyways, let's get into it. So I'm going to be picking uh, Ulgrim or Macho Man, but I, I switch between Ulgrim and Scarlet fairly Macho often. Man. Uh, for maps, this is all very subjective. South platform maps can be good with Lance because Lance has three hit combos, especially in white health. It, soft platforms don't tend to work well with Lance. So if you're going to pick maps, I would recommend very flat maps without an edge. So things like Demon Island, Small Brawl Haven are both great. Uh, if you're going to play a platform map, I wouldn't go for Great Hall at all because it, it, it's hard to dare back the stage. You're going to ledge cancel accidentally a lot. So I would not play that map. Enigma is kind of weird. Kind of depends on who you're playing against. Other than that, play whatever you want. I think APOC is also a really good map. So just the flatter the better for Lance. Because Lance is a very horizontal weapon. So you want to be able to control the space horizontally. You don't want, and vertically. Like You don't want people necessarily way above you or way below you. You want them horizontal. 
or very slightly above or very slightly below. So being able to have a flatter map is a, a lot more beneficial. There's soft platforms like Enigma that go pretty high up into the air or Miami. People can reset neutral on the top and it's very hard to cover that on lance. Unlike Hammer or some other weapons that have more vertical range. Anyways, let's go into Small Brawl. So Lance, just like all weapons, is very dynamic. So how you play the weapon is different depending on the health of your opponent. So in White Health, or well, in general with Lance, before I go into that kind of specifics, I just want to say the style of gameplay. For the most part, the best Lance players are very grounded. If you want to build up damage on Lance, everything comes from its grounded options. So try your best to stay to the ground more. On Lance, it's very easy to get caught up in like these dash jump sairs and whatnot, and theirs, and just to get horizontal aerial movement. But you're not going to build up damage very easily. You're not going to combo. When you're in white health, I really recommend for you guys to stay grounded. This is because you have a ton of damage build up tools on Lance when you're grounded, especially. So let's start with the basic true combo, side light downer. This combo only really works in white, so I would only do it in white health. Hopefully they buff it so you can do it more into like late yellow. But as of right now, when you're in white health, the most optimal side light follow up is side light downer. This is a true combo. If you are on keyboard, one thing you got to know and same with controller actually when inputting this is Okay, you can't have tap up to jump. If you don't know what that is, on keyboard you can press W, or on controller you can press up to jump sometimes. It's a setting in controls. I'll actually show you what it looks like. Uh, it just shows uh, press up to jump right here. Same with on keyboard. You just you can kind of see. See, it says jump plus aim up. So just make sure whatever your controls are, this is not it. You want to have something different for aiming up and jumping. So if you're on the keyboard, I'd recommend space to jump, but it's really up to you. Um, this allows you to hit this combo, honestly, because how you have to hit the combo is you need to jump and hold down at the same time. So if you're holding up, like if you press up to jump, you can't hold down, if that makes sense. So... To input this combo, you side light, obviously, just side light. And then after the side light, right after you hear the sound, you press jump, hold down and attack at the same time. So on controller, I use an Xbox controller. It's the bottom button and the left button. So A and X on Xbox. So I could literally press it with both my fingers at the same time. It does an instant jump there. So you side light, jump there. And like it's instant, it's on the exact same frame. Well, at least you input it on the same frame. So that, that it's very easy to input once you understand that you have to press your jump and down and attack all at the same time. And it's the same thing on keyboard, right? So I can't really switch between the two, but hold down, jump and attack at the same time. That's how you do it. And what's best about this combo is you have a lot of follow-up options. So on white health, end light is your safest follow-up. It's only one dodge frame. Uh, I earlier elo like until pro level gameplay i really recommend for you to just learn this three hit string it's a ton of damage by the way like side light does 11 the downer does 19 and then the neutral light i think it's like 17 yeah 17 or 18 yeah but it's a ton of damage 18 plus 20 dude this is getting close to like 50 plus damage so i'm not gonna do the math but somewhere around there um, but that's a lot of damage. Like, I'm just hitting three, and my opponent's already in late yellow. Like, that's ridiculous. And neutral light, by the way. You can get string follow-ups after that, too. So I'm going to be going over what's optimal, what to go for, and whatnot. But yeah, learn this combo. I missed it. There we go. Learn this combo. Hit it to one dodge frame, okay? And if you don't know how to use training room, make sure you turn show damage on, show stun on, show hitboxes on, show hurtboxes on. You can also reset the bot by turning damage reset and position on, set the damage to zero. Side light, downer, and light. Very important string that you should learn. Okay? So after you hit side light, downer, and light, there's other options to follow up too. So after a neutral light, you can't follow up safely. So I really recommend for you guys to learn this thing and it's called okay people call it reads i like to call it something else i'm gonna call it reactions so being able to react to what your opponent does is very very important so here's what i like to do when i practice is i'll set the ai to dodge uh set dodge reaction to random 
okay? And here's what I like to do. Let's say you do side light down there and people are dodging out. Then you wait a second, maybe even reposition. You could chase dodge, spot dodge, whatever. Let's say a spot dodge, wait a second, react, and then hit them when they do something. So if I side light down there, let's say they dodge and they dodge away, try and hit them after they dodge. You can use nares, whatever, but things like nares a great way to cover like a lot of dodges, just like that. Like I didn't know the bot was going to dodge that way, but because I know nair is a very large move, or at least it has a lot of range, like it just covers a lot of dodges. You can see, okay, the training room is stupid, but he dodged up into it earlier. Fucking dodge there. He actually dashed because they're technically on the ground. But you see there, right? I caught the bot's dodge. I hit a nair. And that enabled me to get another string. And another combo is nair Sair. So nair has some really weird combos, which I'm going to go more into later. Because that's more expert level Lance stuff, hitting those nair combos. But just when you're trying to build up damage on Lance, focus on the bread and butter combos. So in white health, side light down there, and just see what your opponent does and then try and cover it with a move. So if you see right there, I did side light down there. I waited a second. He didn't spot dodge. The training room's stupid. He went inward, so then I side lighted. And I'm going to go into the next thing. After yellow health, side light neutral air is important, okay? So when your opponent is in between, let's say... 30 damage all the way until 150 side light neutral air is your bread and butter now you hit this you hit side light and then same thing with the down air instead of holding down you're gonna hold up it's up and attack at the same time you can also hold diagonally towards your opponent depending on how you hit the side light if you hit the side light close to the stacks you're gonna want to and what that means is if you hit side light closer to you it sets up closer to you, so you're going to want to go straight up. But if you hit side light further away, you're going to want to go diagonally towards your opponent. Uh, this isn't super important. It's more for pro gameplay. If you're learning Lance, I really just recommend you to learn this input. Side light neutral air. doesn't really matter how you hit it. You're going to hit it true 99% of the time. But yeah, side light neutral air. It's side light, then jump, attack, and hold up at the right time. So make sure you can hit that true. And it's the same thing with side light down air. But the difference is, is you can't use a neutral light after it. You need to go for a reaction after your side light down air. So I'll go side or side light neutral air. So I'll do a side light neutral air. Wait to see what he does. He spot dodges. I go narrow recovery. Let's say I side light neutral air. I'm going to spot dodge. He goes up. I, I misinput that recovery. But you see what I mean. I'm, that's a stupid situation. But he dodged up. You can even like chase dodge if you think it's going to be a read. It's all about waiting to see what your opponent does. And if they do something risky, punish them. So if they dodge, then they can't dodge anymore. So you can go for them. If they go for an attack, be in a position like, to try and punish them. So like, let's say the bot does like a wake up, right? Or like, I don't know, just... The point is, is to react to what your opponent does. So hit a bread and butter combo. So like, let's say side light nair. You can spot dodge, you can chase up, you you can wait and do nothing. But it's all about reacting to what your opponent does. So it's just really important for you to notice and for you to focus on when to go in and when not to go in. Strings are great, but at the end of the day, they're very risky. I, what's most optimal is for you to hit something true and then wait until it's optimal to go for something, right? Just like that. You saw him dodge up and to the right, then I recover. This, If you have a fast reaction time, it makes your life a lot easier, especially if you have less ping and whatnot. Um, if you have greater ping and you can't react in time, then going for options that cover a lot of space are good. So if I side like neutral air, maybe chase up neutral air again. I kind of miss him to the there. But if I chase up neutral air or like side like nair and then down air. By the way, side light near down there is a string and like earlier how uh, like that, but it's obviously dodgeable. Like you can down there the four dodge frames on all ground. So like it's still a string, but it's not optimal to go for those necessarily. It's most optimal for you to reposition yourself, see what your opponent does, and then cover it. If it's worth it. So like if your opponent does nothing, doesn't waste the dodge or no options, then like 
you shouldn't do anything unless you really think you're going to hit them. But wait for your opponent to do something wrong and then punish them for it. So if they dodge, then you can hit them. If they attack you and they miss, then you can hit them if you can get a punish in time. So that's like mid gameplay. So like hitting side like nares is really, really important. By the way, there's some strings as well. So like Sarah and Light's a cool string, but it's the same thing. When you don't have a true combo, it's all about playing reactive. So if I hit like a side there, wait to see what he does and then punish. So like, let me set the AI to dodge, let's say randomly. Let's say I had a side air, wait. He spot dodged, I, I tried nearing, but like spot dodge, then I side light side air. Side light down there, he dodges and then I D light nair recovery, but he has a dodge back now. Let's say I D light. D light and light's a one dodge trim combo, by the way. So it's always good to just D light and light. Or it's not one dodge trim, it's two dodge trims, but it's unjumpable because end light covers a little bit vertically. Or it, it could be jumpable on later decks, but anyways, let's say they don't have a dodge. D light end light's good, but if they do have a dodge, you can D light, wait for them to do something, and then I side light Sarah, because that's only one dodge frame. So it's all about playing reactive. So understand what you can and cannot hit. If you don't know this in Brawlhalla, if you if the string is under two dodge frames, so if the string is one dodge frame, then you almost always cannot jump out of it. So going understanding what hits when they don't have a dodge is very important so some really good bread and butter strings on lance are things like you know side light nair downer downer is four dodge frames if they don't have a dodge they're probably not going to get out of it or d light neutral light like here let me let me see this oh like d light neutral light right here okay i'm gonna get the three dodge frames i'm pretty sure i can get two is that three dodge frames on four decks Am I just bad? I think I might just be bad. I might just be bad, but anyways, let's say it's three dodge frames. They will probably not jump out of it, so if your opponent doesn't have a dodge, you can go for D-Light Neutral Light, if that kind of makes sense. And it's the same thing with other strings. So there's Side Light Nair Down Air, there's Sarah and Light is one dodge frame on higher decks, but two dodge frames on Macho Man, and it works pretty like consistently so again if they don't have a dodge these are optimal to go for but if they have a dodge it's just not optimal to go for these follow-ups so if you're trying to get good at lance understand what are the true combos the so side light down air side light neutral air then understand how to play reactive so let your opponent do something wrong and then punish them for it but then also when you punish them punishing them optimally with strings is really important so like let's say I side light down there and they start dodging to the right, okay? And I know that they're gonna dodge to the right, so this is where reads come in, but you can also react to this too. You side light down there, they dodge to the right, I dash side lights there. And it's free damage. Or I side light down there, they react, I side light down there, neutral light. And that's true. Like they can't get out of that. It's only one dodge ring. So it makes it very easy for you to build up damage very quickly, but you need to know your options on Lance. So yeah, side light neutral light, or uh, Sarah neutral light, Dare neutral light. Here's some more strings I'm just gonna show you. There's Dare down light, which is actually a true combo. This only works true when you hit the Dare close to the stack and on the ground. Um, if you don't hit it close to the stack, it's not gonna be true. As you can see, you have to like dash, and it's just not true. So you have to hit it very close to stack. Uh, there's their neutral light, obviously. Um, there's also Nair combos, so if you like Nair, you could like Nair recovery. It's a lot of dodge frames. You can like Sair down light if you really want. That covers some reads. Down light, neutral light. Like, honestly, just play around with Lance and just see what strings work and stuff like that. There's their Sair off stage. Like, there's a lot of strings you can learn to build up damage optimally, but they're not really important the fundamentals like the fundamentals of like they're obviously important but like it's different like there's so many combinations of strings you can do which is great but all of them have a lot of dodge frames so the key thing you guys need to take away from this is hit the bread and butter true combos and then react so in white health hit side light downer see how they dodge and then punish with a string or a combo okay and if you can't punish then don't it's safer to not do something than to whiff so side light down there when they're in white health, when they're in yellow health or orange health, side light neutral air and same thing react, try and hit a string if they don't have a dodge 
and then you're gonna build up damage very quickly. And the last thing that I'm gonna teach you guys on how to play Lance is killing. So if they're in red health, building up damage with side elite neutral air is cool, but it sends them too far away and it's very difficult to kill with. Here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. The easiest way to kill on Lance is side light recovery. Most pros will not dodge out of this. Or on land pros will dodge out of this. Most players online do not dodge out of this combo very often, especially at lower elo. So I recommend you guys to learn this combo. I'm going to set the AI to stop dodging because it's not a true combo. But how you hit this combo on controller at least, I'll play you guys keyboard in a minute. I'm a controller player is obviously you hit side light. But what I like to do is you need to press jump and recovery at almost the same time. I slide my finger from A to B. So the bottom button to the right button, I just slide it using my thumb. And that way you get an instant jump recovery. If you're on keyboard, you just got to press the jump and recovery button on the same frame or almost identical to the same frame. And you should be able to do an instant jump recovery. So it's side light and an instant jump recovery. This kills at around 150 on small brawl. Other maps will obviously depend. This is, that wasn't it, but this is your best way to kill. Please learn how to hit this string. It's very important because if they don't have a dodge, this is a confirmed kill. You may be wondering, Hey Kozilix, why would I do side light recovery when I have side light cider, which kills quicker? Yes, side light cider kills quicker, and in certain situations when they don't have a dodge and you know side light Sayer will kill, like if I'm like close to an edge or something like that, then sure, side light Sayer is a better option. But 99% of the time, recovery is a better option, and here is why. If you do a side light recovery and they dodge out of it, uh, here, let me just show you guys. Let's say they dodge out of it with a spot dodge. Okay. If they decide to dodge, there we go. You can cover that dodge immediately. So if they spot dodge, I'm already in Sarah position. Do you see what I mean? Like, let's say I side light. That was bad. Side light recovery. That was, I missed the side light, but you get what I mean? Like, if I side light recovery and they dodge, I can already Sarah. So. Sidelight Recovery puts you in a really good position to catch bad dodges from your opponent and wake ups. So if you don't know what a wake up is, is when you try and do a string and they do an attack in between your combo. So this obviously Sidelight Recovery is only one dodge frame. So somebody could spot dodge it and then wake up gravity cancel. It, you know what that is. So like, let's say this Diana spot dodges, after that spot dodge, they can turn that into a wake up and just use an attack and catch you. But the thing with side light recovery is you're put in a really good position, like right here, where you can use a side light or you can punish with another side light, you can punish with a cider, which is a kill option. And it, just, it, it sets you up to get a kill, even if you whiff the attack. So please just trust me, side light recovery, you're gonna find yourself hitting wake up stairs very often when they dodge poorly. Like I can set this bot to dodge randomly and most of the time I'll be able to cover it. Side light recovery, side air. You see what I mean? I'm gonna set the, the bot to further health just to show you my point. That was bad. Why is this bot not dodging? You see what I mean there? I caught the dare and then that led to a side light recovery and he didn't have a dodge. I side light recovery, he spot dodges, he's dead. I side light recovery, he spot dodges, he's dead. I side light recovery, dodge down, I missed the down there, whatever. He's dead. He dodges in, he's dead. He dodges up, I barely missed that. Dodges in, you're dead. Side light recovery, didn't dodge that. Okay, come on, dodge. Like, do you guys kind of see what I mean? Like, you could even hit a side light and then just, like, wait for a dodge and then just, like, punish and get kills off that. I don't think, like, in low elo, side light recovery will hit, but it's also just a much safer move in general to not get punished when you don't hit the combo. So let me recap everything I've said so far if you listen to this point. When they're in white health, you side light downer. When they're in yellow health, you side light neutral air. When they're in red health, you side light recovery and use those combos to put your position, your, put your opponent in a bad position where they dodge or do something risky and then react to it. So like, let's say they're in white health. Let's say they're in white health and I side light downer, I react, 
He dodged, and then I'm side light recovering, and then I keep going. I side light neutral air, dodges up, and then I hit a recovery. That's yellow health, by the way. So white health, you side light down air, wait for him to do something, and then hit him with a strength. In yellow health, orange or red, you side light nair, wait for something, and then hit him with a combo. In red health, you side light recovery. If they dodge, then punish them. If they don't dodge, they're dead. That's how you guys should be playing Lance. And obviously a lot of this stems from side light. So being on the ground is super duper important. If you want to build up damage the quickest, hitting true combos is key. The only true combo you're going to get out of the air is that stupid stack down air. But then it leads to a down light and then it's the same thing. You wait and react. So anything you hit, like let's say you're not on the ground and you hit a raw sider, wait and then react. It's just how, it's a safe way to play. See what I mean? So, learn your combos, learn your strings, and just focus on reacting. That's honestly how you can play Lance. So, learn the combos, learn the strings, learn what to do and what time, and learn to react. If you want a better ways to learn to react, set the, the bot to dodge randomly and try and cover those dodges as quickly as possible. So doing things like side light neutral air, I'll like spot dodge and then I side it, right? Or like I'll side light neutral air, I'm gonna spot dodge again. Sure, another side air, that covers. Side light neutral air, let's chase up. Nope, never mind, you spot dodge. Side light neutral air, I'm gonna chase up. And you can mix up how you position yourself. You could even use dare to position yourself even better. So if I side light neutral air and I dare, by the way, if I down air, even on whiff, it's very difficult to punish a down air. So it puts me in a position where my opponent thinks that they can land an attack and then you can punish them. So the key thing is do a combo or do an attack until it's no longer safe. Position yourself to cover dodges and react. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you position yourself, just don't commit. So if you want to do a move like a downer that's very quick on whiff, then sure you can position yourself with downer. It also gives you the chance of getting a string. But it's all about positioning yourself to get more damage. That's how you play Lance. This is the most I've gone in depth with how to actually play Lance. So learn to play grounded, build up the damage with the true combo, wait, react, and build up more damage. And then to kill, side light recovery, things like hitting raw Sarahs and stuff like that is cool. But like, it's kind of hard to fish for that. It's safest just to play grounded and punish with side light. And if they're really not playing grounded with you, you can go in the air and you can use options like Nair and stuff like that to juggle them. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to recommend for you guys to figure out yourself. Play ranked, but start with this video as a basic on how to play the weapon optimally, okay? Guys, again, if you watch this point, thank you so much. If you got any questions, let me know down below. I'll reply to as many comments as I can, especially within the first month or two. This video is public. Um, this video is gonna have 2022 on the title because this is a guide for anyone that wants to pick up lance in 2022 so like I'll, I'll, I'll answer questions in 2022 i'm gonna make another guide in 2023 it will probably have some updated information and it will also have just updated opinions on how to get good with Lance because i learn stuff every single year so guys thank you for watching this video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next love y'all peace